Look at this dapper man. Seriously, that cane is awesome. So dapper right now. I'm yeah. so glad we got that. It's like solid. Got my rubber stopper at the end. <laughs> Brady hoot. doesn't give a hoot. <laughs> no hoots given. <laughs> no hoots given. Oh, he's gonna try and bite it. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure it's like 110 degrees today. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, this weekend's it's supposed to get to a whole lot so of hot. Looks good, Matt. Oh Come no, here. no. Come here. Brady, Brady, no. No. That's Come not. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit the camera. Nice to meet you. Get weird. He always struggles with the back legs. Oh, good job, Brady. Don't chew on the pillow. Yeah, no, I saw that. <laughs> Golly. It stretches so far. Yeah, it does. God. Pulling buzz. Crazy. Brady. <laughs> Look at the arm for leverage. <laughs> Dang. All right, you guys can't play too much. Buzz is going to have a heart attack. Bully off. Drop it. Drop. Drop it. Oh. Brady. Let go. Let. Thank you. <coughs> Brady, what are you doing? Okay. Oh. You're cute, but you are a lot of energy. <laughs> One of the big downfalls of having an RV is dish space. We actually didn't have a dishwasher in our last house, so we're used to hand washing dishes. The sink that we had was twice as big. This is just from when I made dinner last night, dishes from dinner, and then breakfast this morning. This thing fills up fast. And since we do use our biodegradable soap, a lot of the time to save from filling up the uh, gray water too quickly, we'll use the uh, camping sink here. Anyway, but it just, it fills up fast, so I find myself having to do dishes a lot. Of course, Matt helps to these dishes, they add up real fast, so, and I don't like having <laughs> dirty a dirty sink for a prolonged period of time so I just got home and I'm gonna clean these before I make my lunch because I don't want to just add to the mountain of dirty dishes. I'm going to attempt to make brownies in the crock pot. You guys might remember I don't like using our oven. I don't like lighting it. For the most part we use our air fryer, our instant pot, and our microwave and we do just fine. I know we'll use a lot more whenever we're traveling um, and I just get Matt to light it. But I'm here by myself, well, me and Buzz, in the RV. And I'm gonna try and make some crock pot brownies. I've seen recipes where it works. I'm honestly just going to wing it. I've got a box of brownie mix and a can of pumpkin. And these are actually brownies that I used to eat a lot whenever I was doing a lot of low calorie diets because they are lower calorie. You don't add oil, you don't add any like eggs or milks or anything like that. So the calories come from the pumpkin, which is pretty minimal, and the box of brownie mix, which isn't terrible. Um, and pumpkin is actually really good for you. It's got a lot of fiber. Um, it's got a lot of vitamins in there that are really, really great for you. So I love pumpkin. I just thought I'd show you guys how it turns out that could be really really good or it could be absolutely disastrous so let's see how it turns out so I left to go pick up Matt and I had left this on low and I'm just now realizing I should have left it on warm because these are definitely <laughs> They're a little burnt, but this side doesn't look burnt, so I don't know what that's about. I tried a little bit of it, and they're a little chewy, but it's actually not bad. I think that once I cool them in the fridge, add some peanut butter to the top, they won't be too bad. So as far as like baking it goes, it didn't stick to the side, so I think it's a pretty good recipe. You just got to time it a little bit better. So Matt's leaving me this weekend. Just He's leaving us, Buzz. I'm leaving them with you. He's leaving us. I'm giving you the whole bed for a few nights. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do to celebrate? <laughs> Cheers.
Here we go. Still getting her used to the harness. You want back out? I know you hate this thing. I know you hate it. Are you getting used to it at all? Probably not. Alright. See you later. We're going to Austin and I like to take a couple of these bags and put them in a backpack so that whenever we walk downtown I've got them but I don't have to carry them in my hands. I just have them on my person in my backpack. Matt and I are in the car and we are heading to Austin. Um, as you guys probably know, we go to Austin like three, two or three times a week uh, for various things. There's just so much to do in Austin. Tonight just so happens to be the quote along at the Alamo Draft House for the movie Labyrinth. It's amazing. And every year the Alamo Draft House has a quote along. And so they make a big deal of it. They showed the movie and then um, they encourage people to quote along, but then there's like interactive stuff. I remember last time we did this a couple years ago, um, they gave everybody like little bubbles and whenever they were doing the the ballroom scene, everybody's blowing their bubbles and like, I don't know, it's fun. So what we're doing right now is we're heading back to that um, food co-op called Weedsville. Because we're going to get some food and snacks. Matt's going on his trip this weekend with a friend. Um, so he's going to get some snacks to take with him. But we're also probably going to eat dinner for the most part. Because the food at the draft house, it was already kind of pricey to begin with. But they increased the prices by like several dollars per item. And it's just not worth it to me. They've got a few pretty good vegan options. But we can go and buy our own veggie burgers. We can make our own veggie burgers for a quarter of the price. It's, well, they're just burgers in general, whether it's vegan or not, just $13.50. And they're not, like, it's not amazing food. They're, I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna go get some food before we go to the draft house so we don't spend a whole lot of money on food. We'll probably get some snacks or something. But that's what we're doing. Alright guys, so that is going to pretty much wrap up today's video. Again, I know it's just kind of a random vlog, but um, for the most part you guys seem to enjoy the random daily vlogs. Uh, of course, if you guys ever have any questions for us, post them in the comment section below. And in case you're wondering, I self tan today. <laughs> Um, I was using the rest of my tanning lotion that I had and put on one coat and then I let it dry. Then I put on a second coat because I didn't feel like I liked enough of the first coat. That second coat went hard. Check this out. Self tanning problems. So I don't lay out often. I'm out in the sun a fair amount of time but not a whole lot of time and I always put sunscreen on. I, I tan well but especially lately it's been so hot so I don't really naturally tan right now. I don't do tanning beds so I do like to use like the tanning lotions, the self tanner stuff because I, I guess it's safer in terms of skin cancer. But sometimes when you go from the color of a sheet of paper to like I've been in Hawaii for a week. It's a little noticeable, so I'm curious to see how people react this weekend. <laughs> Matt, Matt left today for his weekend trip. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We've got a vlog that we're working on as far as his and her weekends go. So that should be pretty fun to watch. That'll be up on Wednesday. But I think I'm just going to hang out, get some work done, prepare my speech. I'm going to be, um, presenting at the vegan fitness seminar in San Antonio on Monday. We didn't really talk about it much on here because I knew that you guys wouldn't be able to come. I'm, I'm going to be one of five other um, basically vegan athletes and they're all different shapes, sizes, walks of life and fitness levels and just coming to talk about their fitness journeys and training and then of course our diet. It's going to be a really cool night. I'm going to try and get some footage of it. I think that Matt's gonna do a Facebook live stream of my talk. So you guys, if you are watching this on Monday, um, it's gonna be tonight at 7, I believe 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That's whenever we start the event. I'm not quite sure when I will be going on, but I'm gonna be posting on, I think I'm gonna do a Facebook live stream 
like I said, of my, my talk, which is going to be just about my fitness journey in general. So if you guys want to add me on Facebook, my Facebook page and information is in the description box here. So y'all can add me on there and possibly catch it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Me and the pups are going to be here. Big Friday night. It's 8 o'clock. I'm about to make dessert and fold down the bed. Probably just watch Netflix until I fall asleep. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see y'all very soon.